What's up guys and welcome back to the Swamp Boys Garage channel and the Swamp Max build. In the last episode we removed the fender, we removed the seat belts and the airbag module and sent that off. Anytime you have a wreck the seat belts lock up and if the airbags blow you got to get the airbag module reset. So we sent all that to safety restore. We got it back in. We received our new airbags. We had one blown here, one blown there, and over there. So we got those in so we can install that today. So we should be able to do everything in an interior except for the seat cover. My mom, Tyler's grandma, has the seat cover. She's going to re sew that for us. I know there's a big controversy on the internet saying don't re sew a seat cover after it blows, and some say it's perfectly fine. As long as you use the right kind of thread, and, the, and you can see where it was sewn up like the, the hole so as long as you stayed like that the airbag when it blows again if it ever blows again it'll blow at the right velocity and the timing so we have all of that so I guess without further ado let's get started on the interior oh one other thing how you like our new shirts uh, subscriber sent these to us one logo is on the front and uh, another logo is on the back so I thought that was really nice of them. I think we'll probably order like a bunch of different colors. That way we can look semi-professional when we're out here working. So I guess let's get started on all of this. It shouldn't take too long today, maybe a few hours. So let's get it knocked out. First we're gonna start with the seat belts. I think that's the easiest job. We're gonna let Tyler knock the seat belts out. We're gonna do it all except we're not gonna put the plastic back on the bottom part because we're going to have to cut all this out and uh, spot weld the new rocker panel back in so we can just be taking it back out. But we can do the other side 100%. The only issue we're going to have is we don't have the batteries in the truck to move the seat back and forth, which would help a ton. You can't have batteries in when you do airbags because if you do that, then they'll just explode back out on you. So all that's out. So we're going to do the best we can with installing that. So let's see if we can do it. We may have to just kind of barely put them in and then tighten them up later when we move the seat, but we're going to see. All right, you remember how to line it back up? Yeah. Put, it's been over a week. Put this through the hole, and then... Where does that wire plug in? Was it on the other? Okay, right there. So we could do that later. Yeah. Tighten that up. Not too tight. That way you can line up the bottom. You don't ever want to tighten everything up before you get everything started. This wrench, I think it's what's a T50. And then we got to try to remember how it strings back up. Probably have to put the feed it through the plastic piece. Let me grab that. Let's see how that's going to work. Put everything back here. Try to keep it organized. All right. Next step, we're going to clip this in right here and push this through. Make sure it's not twisted. And safety restore added that zip tie. That way, it don't keep retracting on you while you're trying to work on it. Kind of helps out with installation. You want to make sure it's not twisted up, otherwise it's not going to retract. And then we're going to bolt this. Here you can get all this slack out. Bolt this into right here. That one's going to be kind of hard to turn. Do you just turn it like this? No. You're going to have to try to get it started, then you can put a wrench on it. Your socket. Alright. Just get a few threads started. Looks like you got it. Or you can go as far as you can until it gets too hard. Then after that, you're gonna have to feed it through here. That way you can get it, just get this plastic piece on, but you can get that tight first. Because if you don't do that, then you're not gonna be able to get your plastic trim in. 
All right, now we're gonna feed this through here and make sure it don't get twisted and then put the plastic trim on. Yeah, the most important part is make sure it's not getting twisted up. All right, we just got the bolts off, but we're just gonna set it right here for now because you have to get the headliner off and now it'd be in our way so we're just going to set it right here yeah i forgot about taking the headliner down and this is what holds up the headliners behind here so we're just going to leave this off for now and then after we do the airbag we'll bolt this back in so we'll finish installing this part on the seat and um then we'll be done and, and then we'll put this plastic piece on after the airbags Okay, the last step is to connect this down into the seat, but there's one problem, and then we'll put this on. We can't get the wrench on it with the seat right here, so we're just going to start this bolt with our fingers, get it tight, and then when we get the batteries in, we'll move the seat back and we'll torque it down to the right specs. The seat belt is about 90% done. We've got it tight as we can get with our fingers, and then we'll batteries back in, move the seat, torque it down right. Um, I think the next step, we're just since we're on this side, we're just going to go ahead and take these two handles down, and that way we could drop the headliner. I think we could do it, drop it down just enough where we could reach this airbag. We're going to see if that's possible. I hope we don't have to take the entire headliner down. I don't think we do. So we're gonna try that and then we're gonna have to go to Harbor Freight. With every project, there's always some tool you need. The smallest deep socket I have is a 10 millimeter. And to get this airbag out, here's the airbag in this seat. There's a hole, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but up in here, I don't know if it's like a five, six, or a seven millimeter, but we're gonna have to get a smaller set of deep socket sockets so we're gonna have to go run get that that way we can change this airbag so we'll do that later today so let's let's start on this get this whole side knocked out then we'll jump on that side all right Tyler's taking off the front on a grab handle whatever you call it we already did the back one all it is pop these out it's good to get a set of these little interior tools Pop them out, then it's just eight millimeter or seven, I don't remember what it was. And oh, in the last video, I asked how to get these out of the seat. Remember these were in there and I couldn't get the cover off. So all that is, and thanks to all the comments and help. You see this, you have to press that in. So this is in the seat, like this. You just reach in with a screwdriver or this plastic tool right here and you depress that push it in and it just pops straight out that was very easy and appreciate all the help everyone gives us you got it almost i'm hoping we can just take that down and this is gonna fold down just enough that we can get to this airbag like some of it's back here it just runs along the curtain runs along here so it's probably just a few bolts and then bolt it in back here it should be fairly easy I probably should change the whole headliner because it split somewhere over right here at Tor but I think I'm going to just put it back up for now 
Are you getting it or am I might have to do it? I got it. About time. Now take the handle down. See if it'll pull straight out like the last one did. But don't bend it. It should just come straight off. This one's stuck. Oh, there it is. All right, got that. Yeah, we should be able to do it with this headliner like this. All right, I think we're gonna be able to do it just by taking this side down without the whole headliner. So I unplug this. I might have to cut this tie rack off. Unbolt it and there's four or five bolts holding up the whole curtain. I'm not gonna have to take this off, I don't think, yet. It stops right here. So I'll get that off, put the new one in, and it's about lunchtime now. So we'll go to Harbor Freight, go get some lunch. We're gonna find something other than um, raising canes this time. So let's knock this out so we can get some food. I'm gonna get this, I guess that's the canister. I don't know if it's got gunpowder in it that makes it explode or what they have now, but take this out first and just work my way around. We gotta get some power tools one day. All right, we got about half of it out. I had to swap over to our drill. This is about the only power tool we have for ratchet get this right here because I want to we use these videos a lot to help us remember how to install stuff there's a clip right here too so it's not just a bolt I want to remember that so we'll get this out a little clip and then we got about three more bolts and then we can put the other one in gets them out of salvage vehicles so this is the old one it's only about eight or nine bolts so it should go back in pretty quick just got to get it all lined back up goes like this might have to take this down because this is going to go down in there I don't know what this connects to we might have to take one apart just to see how it works most likely this is going to have to feed down in here so we'll we'll take that off all right so my dad has three more to do but the new one did not come with clips so we're going to take them from the old one and put them on here, and I'm gonna be checking it off while my dad puts the last one on. It may just be one clip we need. The end piece may just clip on something else, but I know one's gonna have to go on here. Alright guys, so we're 100% finished with this airbag. We have to end up taking this plastic off because there are two bolts under there. So now we're going to run to Harbor Freight to get this tool we need for this and go run and get some food. Yeah, we might have to change first. Our, the old AC, we got like a 5,000 BTUs, 15, 20 years old. 
So I'm sweating like a mule and slipping around in my Crocs. So it might be a good time just to upgrade that to uh, 8,000 if it'll fit in that little spot. So let's go get some food and uh, get back to it. guys we're back from lunch we got the tools we needed we're going to take this airbag out and put this one in so let's get to that right now yeah we probably shouldn't put on video us going to harbor freight so much because mama might get mad at us all the money we keep spending at harbor freight That only has two nuts on it. Got one off already. Tyler's gonna finish up that last little bit. You got to pull it. Should have just went through here. Now put this one in? Yeah. Let's see what goes. This plug goes to the top. You probably got to come over here and look. See how it lines up with them little holes? All right, we got the front handlebar in, we got this top part in, and we're not putting the bottom part in because we have to weld all here and we just have to take this part off. But now we're just going to screw these bolts into this, put these handles in and get started. All right, you could um, start the bottom. Don't tighten it all the way. That way you can get the top bolt in. Leave it on your socket and just guide it in that way. It's a long ways to that hole.
All right, don't put it too tight. Okay, you can start the top, get the top on. You don't want it too tight, then the, the holes at the top wouldn't line up. Make sure you're not cross-threading it. If it ever feels super tight in the beginning, just stop, back it back out. And you could tighten that one all the way. And once it's tight, go back and tighten the bottom. All right, tighten it down good and then put the caps on it. That should be good. Yeah. Let's pop them in. Perfect. All right, now we gotta do the little grab handles that go here, two of them. All right, I got this one up. Just gotta tighten it down. Then there's one in the front, we gotta put on. Pretty easy job today. Yeah. Be a lot quicker with some power tools. <laughs> Maybe mom might get us some for Christmas. Last one. almost put the wrong one in the front and back. The back one has a place for a coat hanger, so you obviously wouldn't have that here. That would have been a nice little beginner mistake, but I lucked up on that. Gotta find the little clips. Put the little clips on. Other than that, the only issue, I'll let you look this tear right here when the airbag busted out it split this but this is gonna be my truck so it really don't matter so I can change that later got these little clips yeah we're just trying to hurry up and get this truck finished because the used truck market right now is super hot it's hotter than the housing market you can't even get a uh, new car right now because the computer chip shortage so if we can sell my old Tundra, we get more money and put it in the future builds. So we're trying to hurry up and finish this quick. That's why we we got a little bit left on the Corvette. We got paint and a few little knickknacks. And then uh, that's why we jumped on this full time because we're trying to hurry up and sell my truck. So when we paint this, we'll probably paint the Corvette same time. Knock them both out. Let's see how this goes. All right, we got this whole side completely done. It looks good. Before I jump on the other side, I just update you. We got our fender ordered. I bought a aftermarket fender. It comes in black primed. That was way cheaper than getting a used one at a junkyard. I think a junkyard one was like $650 and this was low 400s. And they're gonna ship it to my house. Should be in maybe tomorrow, but we'll have to paint it before we put it on. At least paint the back and the sides. That way we can mount it. Cause we gotta paint the whole this whole side of the truck. That way to blend in good. But we may just put a few coats on the front and uh, do the back side real good. I never could find a rocker panel cut out. Everywhere I called said they don't do that. I was trying to get one like cut out of a scrap yard truck and cut the floor out that way I get an entire piece. So it looks like I'm about to go to the dealer and order this whole surround, which is probably gonna be three or 400 more bucks than getting the cut out, but I can't get the cut out anywhere. 
not have any luck. Hey, we got enough footage for a video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock out the other side real quick. Tyler's going to go and edit this video. That'll take him a few hours. It'll take me probably two hours to do the other side. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, we really appreciate it. We appreciate all the comments, all the tips and tricks y'all give us. Couldn't do it without y'all. So please, if you ever feel like you need to tell us something like how to do something better, don't be scared to tell us. And um, we'll be in Daytona Friday at the truck show, looking at all the trucks and trying to figure out how we want to fix this one up nice. So hopefully to see some of y'all out there. If you are, let us know and we'll try to meet up. Um, so that's going to be it for this video and we will see you next time.